Good afternoon. This is Amy, the Keto Queen. I hope you're having a great day. <clears throat> we're home from work tonight, and we're making one of my favorite casseroles. I love to cook casseroles because they're fast, they're easy, and delicious. So I don't know if you've tried this one before. I love to call this hamburger helper. Now, before you jump on, guys, this is a low-carb keto page, so there is no pasta in my hamburger helper. Instead, we use veggies as the pasta. It tastes just like Hamburger Helper. Tonight, we're using green beans. So as you're jumping on, let me know where you're watching from and what you're doing for dinner tonight that's low-carb or keto-friendly. So far, all I've done is cook one pound of ground beef, and Ricky actually did ask me to do something a little different to the recipe tonight. So I've got one pound of ground beef, and I also added a pound of mild Italian sausage. Now, I'm sure it's gonna change the taste, but because I told Ricky I would do that, I also decided to add a can of green beans. So I'm using canned green beans tonight. You can use can or fresh green beans. If you're gonna use fresh green beans, I'm gonna recommend that you uh, steam them about halfway and then get ready to put them in your dish later. If you're using canned green beans, if you're using canned, that's not good one. If you're using canned green beans, you can just empty the cans, uh, drain all the liquid, and put your green beans in your casserole dish. So we're making what I love to call hamburger helper. What are you guys doing tonight, and where are you watching from? If you're brand new to my page, I hope you hang around, and I hope you find some really good recipes that you actually enjoy, because I love to cook, and I love to share all of my fabulous recipes with you guys. This one is no different. So when I finish this live video, you will see the link to the recipe right inside the post. And this is a live video for all of you that are new. So I cannot make the oven cook this and just pull it out of the oven for you. This is live. So I cook live because I like to ask qu answer questions that are real time. Instead of creating edited videos, you are seeing me real life in the kitchen. And I'm here to answer your questions as they come across. So if you guys have questions for me, put them in the comments. The only thing I've done besides talk <laughs> is add some cream cheese. So I did about three ounces of cream cheese. Just cut it into small pieces so it starts to melt. It's ready for me, guys. Next, I'm gonna add a cup of heavy cream. Now, the recipe is gonna tell you a half a cup, but that's because it only has one pound of ground beef. I'm adding a little extra tonight, so I'm doing a little extra sauce. So I've got one cup of heavy cream and I'm gonna do one cup of beef broth, or just under one cup, one cup of each. Okay, we're gonna add that heavy cream and the beef broth. And we're gonna go ahead and add some seasoning. So I've got one teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of garlic powder. And we're gonna do half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. So guys, if you've never tried this before, I know you will love it. I absolutely know you'll love it. I feel confident that you'll love it. And I hope you will try it out. If you've tried it before already and you love this recipe, I would love for you to share the video and tell us how awesome it was when you ate it. If you have never seen my videos before, I hope you will share this one. That way you can come back to your page and see it later. All right, a teaspoon of salt, I mean a teaspoon of pepper. I'm sorry, let me, let me start over. A teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of salt. I don't know what they did with my salt. That's not a half teaspoon. I'm going to have to get some more, y'all. I'm out of my favorite salt. My favorite salt is Redmond's Real Salt, and I'm out. I've got to get some more ordered or go out of the store and pick some up. Oh, man. I said a half teaspoon, but I just put a full one of pepper. It's okay. It's going to be a little spicy. I like a little spice, and I do have some pink Himalayan salt, so I'm going to make sure I add plenty of salt. We definitely want to salt and pepper the dish because you got vegetables. Like your vegetables need to be salt and peppered. All right, so salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. You got the heavy cream and the beef broth. We're going to turn it up some so we can start this simmer. Guys, this is the easiest recipe and I absolutely love it. The oven is on 350. What we're fixing to do is mix it all together and then we're going to put it in the oven so it can cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. Now, if you're using steamed green beans, they're already cooked and they're already warm, so it takes your dish a little short, a shorter period of time to cook. But I'm using canned green beans tonight because they didn't have any good looking green beans at the store. So I'm using canned green beans. You wanna cook it for a good 20, 30 minutes. So those canned green beans get hot all the way through and a little soft. But we're just turning this heat up so we can get this a little simmered. So we've got our, our ground beef. Ricky requested some mild uh, Italian sausage, so I added some. We've got the beef broth, the heavy cream, the onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and that's all we've got in the, oh, and cream cheese. So let me see if you guys have any questions for me. I wanna know, 
Guys, have you ever done a reset to your metabolism? Like, I don't know if you ever have. I have, and I do it with this kit, and this kit is available today. We only have it one time a month because what we do is we get everyone to purchase their kit, and then we do it together as a large group of hundreds and hundreds of people. We do it together. It's scheduled for April the 21st, so if you're interested to reset your metabolism, you want to grab your box today. And if that's you, put Reboot in the comments, and I'm going to send you the information and the link to order. Put Reboot. This is our 60-hour reboot, so it is a pure amazement. I mean, it's purely amazing. And what it does is it resets your metabolism, resets your digestive system, resets your mind control, breaks every plateau. If you're sitting in a plateau, this will break it. If you are just starting your health journey and you're just really excited to get started and get your body in ketosis, this will do it. So it's going to break your plateau. It's going to reset your metabolism. It's going to make you feel amazing. It's going to reset your digestive system. Guys, it's awesome. It is not a cleanse. So this is not a cleanse. This is not supposed to make you have diarrhea out there, yin yang. It's not a cleanse. It is a reset. It truly resets our body to feeling the best we possibly can. And guys, it's almost summertime. So like, I don't know about you, but when I go on vacations, I like to feel comfortable in my shorts. I don't like to um, walk around in tight fitting clothes on vacation. So I love the reset, especially this time of year, because it's so easy to get off track. Like we just had Easter and all the candy. I didn't, but did you? And it's okay if you did, but I did have, <laughs> I did have a burrito, uh, not on Easter. On Easter, I actually did really good, but the weekend of Easter, I had this fat burrito, like not a low carb burrito, like a fat fried burrito. And it was amazing. So yes, I did not do that well this past weekend. So I'm excited for the reset. Guys, if you're interested in resetting your metabolism, your gut, your digestive system, your mind, then put reboot in the comments. I'm going to send you information, but I'm super excited about this dish. So I'd love to know what you're doing for dinner tonight that's low carb or keto friendly. Put any questions you have about the reboot or anything in the comments so I can help answer your questions. We've got our green beans ready. I call this hamburger helper even though there's no pasta because it tastes like hamburger helper. It's so delicious. It really reminds me of like a stroganoff hamburger helper. And when I was growing up, we loved hamburger helper. So I'm using three cans of green beans tonight because I added an extra ingredient. The recipe is in the link, so you don't have to remember all this. But I used one pound of ground beef and one pound of mild Italian sausage. Now, I don't have to have the sausage, but Ricky asked me for it because y'all know Ricky's a meat lover. And because he wanted the extra meat, I put an extra can of green beans. You'll see the recipe calls for one pound of ground beef and two cans of green beans. You also can use fresh green beans if you want to steam them about halfway in the oven and uh, just gently put them in your casserole when you're ready. So I cooked my meat. I drained the grease. And then I added about three ounces of softened cream cheese, and I let that melt into the meat and then I added a uh, right under a cup of heavy cream and beef broth okay and we're simmering that so you hear it it's starting to thicken up and then we added some salt and pepper onion powder garlic powder and that's it we're just letting it simmer it smells delicious like this smells really really good I've got my oven on 350 and what we're gonna do is mix the meat mix with the green beans and then we're gonna top it off with some cheese now, guys, you know you don't have to have cheese. You literally do not have to put any cheese on this recipe if you don't want to. I'm going to add cheddar and mozzarella. So I'm going to add just under a cup of, of cheddar and a little bit less of mozzarella, and that's what I'm going to put on top of my casserole. Again, you can leave this part completely out if you don't want cheese. You do not have to add anything to this recipe. Just stick it in the oven and let those green beans and the sauce of this uh, meat mix melt together, and it's going to be fabulous I mean fabulous all right so I'm shredding my own block of cheddar or a little bit of cheddar I've got some already shredded mozzarella I really love to shred my own cheese because it definitely tastes different it tastes better it's better for you because it doesn't have the cornstarch in it all oh, blah 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 we know we are not the keto police on this page if you're new here we encourage each other to do better and to try new things and to do the best we can so we are not the keto police I don't need nobody to tell me that I can't use shredded cheddar cheese or shredded mozzarella cheese. I don't all the time, but if I want to because I'm running late or I just want to because it's on sale, then I'm going to. That's just me. It's better than, uh, you know, eating pizza tonight. All right, so I'm just going to shred up my mozzarella and my cheddar. My mozzarella is already ready. And let me show you this dish. I mean, it's looking so good. That sauce is getting thicker. 
And you don't want it super, super thick, but you don't want it like water. So let me just show you. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm trying to get to it. Oh, yeah, see, that's perfect. So it's going to thicken up the longer it cooks in the oven, too. So we're fixing to mix it all together and top it with the cheese and stick it in the oven. I'm fixing to answer y'all's questions. So if you have any questions for me, put them in the comments. I hope you have a great day. I'm super excited about this reset. If you're looking to reset and really get your metabolism burning, then you're going to want to put reboot in the comments so I can send you information about our kit. It is amazing, and it's only available for a couple of days, like a couple of days, and then it's off the website because we want to make sure that everyone gets the delivery in time. We're going to do it together unless you want to do it right away. The scheduled date for April is April the 21st, and we do this every single month. Like, you don't have to do it every month, but if you want to, if you're looking for major health change and major fat loss, then you want to drink ketones every day and do a reboot every month, and you've got it made. You got it made without even worrying about your food. You drink ketones two times a day and reboot once a month, and I even worry about food. You've got it. We've got you covered. Uh, most of my friends drink ketones one time a day, which is perfectly fine because they're feeling amazing. They've already had huge health changes, and I'm excited for them. If you're looking for optimal results, you want to drink two a day and reboot every single month. All right, guys, this is looking fabulous. I'm going to mix this into my casserole dish if I can move it over here so you guys can see it. Make sure that's not too hot. Yeah. All right. So we've got our green beans. They are from the can. <clears throat> we're going to put the meat mix right in here. We're going to mix it up as carefully as we can. Ooh, that's hot. And I'm telling you, it tastes just like Hamburger Helper. You guys just have to trust me. If you've tried this before and you love it, give me some hearts. If it sounds delicious, give me some hearts and share this video so you can come back and find it. Now, see, for me, I would much rather have a lot of vegetables. But my husband, he is a meat lover. He absolutely loves his meat. And I personally think with two pounds of meat, you probably could use four to five cans of green beans. But you're fixing to see what I'm saying. I'm mixing it up as best I can without making a mess. I would much rather have a whole lot more vegetables. But my husband requested this dish today, so I'm being a good wife. <laughs> and sometimes we just have to compromise. I know y'all hear me talk about compromise sometimes. And this is one of those. So I've got all the meats in here. And a little bit of veggies for me, but I also have a side salad. So I'm going to get all the vegetables I need tonight. All right, so let me show you what it looks like from a distance here. This is before we add the cheese. So, yes, I would do personally more green beans, but it is what it is. All right, we're going to add some cheese. So I'm going to do a little bit of mozzarella and cheddar. You don't have to add any cheese. You literally can leave the cheese off. A lot of people ask me all the time, like, Amy, do you have to use all this cheese? No, I just love cheese. <laughs> and it makes the food taste even more delicious but it's absolutely not a requirement. There is no requirement to have cheese or a lot of dairy on low carb or keto. If you're following my page, you're gonna see it a lot <laughs> because I just love it. But you are not required to, to do that. Okay, the thing I don't like about shredding your own block of cheese is when it gets uh, a little warm, it just sticks together. But it's so much better than the packaged stuff, it really is. When I say packaged stuff, this isn't a package, but the pre-shredded, or post-shredded, I don't know if you want to call it pre-shredded or pro-shredded, cheese uh, just has extra ingredients to keep it from turning moldy, right? Or to, from keeping it from clumping together. When you open this, there ain't nothing clumpy about it. That's the difference. All right, we have some cheddar and we got some mozzarella. Any questions you guys have, put in the comments. I'm fixing to stop right now and answer any questions I possibly can. This is my rendition of a hamburger helper. So guys, I hope you love it if you've tried it before. If you haven't, I know you will. <laughs> so give me some hearts and share this video if it sounds delicious. As much or as little cheese as you want to. All right, I'm gonna stick this in the oven and I'll be right back with you. Oh, I guess I can show you what it looks like before it's cooked. Doesn't that look good? All right, I love casseroles. Ooh. All right, uh, 25. I'm gonna set my timer for 25 minutes. I'm gonna move this camera right over here. So we can set and chat. Get this water out of the way. All right. Whew, okay. Now I feel like I can settle a second. Let me just settle a second. How are you guys doing? I've been busy over there in the kitchen. <laughs> Let me get over here to my questions and comments. Debbie, she says she tries to find my recipe for the taco bowl. Taco bowl. Okay, I made a taco bowl one time. It may not be in the recipe blog. So easy. Definitely low carb. It is greasy though. So you gotta keep that in mind. So what you're gonna do is get you a bowl. Let me just show you one, for example. Um, this one actually is 
actually probably is not the best choice. So you want a bowl that's got, it's, it's pretty big, pretty fat. The reason is when you make your taco bowl, you're gonna take a uh, shredded cheddar cheese, if you like cheddar like me, or you can do uh, Monterey Jack. I like Monterey Jack better because it's not as greasy. So you're gonna put down some parchment paper and you're gonna put a really thin layer of cheese in a circle. Just a thin layer of cheese in a circle on your parchment paper. Turn your oven on 350, let it cook for eight to 15 minutes. Just check it. You wanna wait until it starts to brown just on the outside. If it starts to brown just on the outside, it's done. Pull it out, let it cool off for like two minutes or so so you don't burn yourself. Pull it off that parchment paper and let it sit on top of your bowl. And let it sit for about 10 minutes. It's gonna harden. And then you take it off the bowl and you've got a taco salad bowl. So I like to use uh, Monterey Jack cheese because it's not as greasy as cheddar, but I like to make taco bowls. It's been a long time since I've done that. Um, ribeye and Italian green beans, yum. Connie, we had ribeyes on Sunday and they were delicious. My dad's fever has broke. Yes, praise the Lord. He is still taking his antibiotics. He's got a gallbladder ultrasound tomorrow because of where his pain's been in his abdominal and some lab works or might be some gallbladder issues. So we're doing a gallbladder ultrasound tomorrow. And then I moved his CT scans up a few days. So he has CT scans on the 8th. So continued prayers, please. We're praying that there's no change except good change on that CT scan. And we're just hoping this fever was just a fluke. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, buffalo chicken peppers yesterday. Oh, yes, Debbie. I hope you enjoyed them. I love buffalo chicken anything. Rita said she's tried it and it's awesome. Thank you, Rita. Uh, let's see. Just made the breakfast bowl. Ooh, I know it's good, Janet. Okay, anybody who does want information on that reboot, put reboot in the comments. We want to make sure we get it. Um, delivered out to you if you're interested in resetting your metabolism. Uh, just ordered it. Yay, Debbie just ordered hers. I need the link for the 21st. Anybody who wants reboot information, put reboot in the comments. I see a bunch of people. I'm going to send it out to you in just a little bit. You're going to love it, guys. It's so amazing. Uh, does the reboot or nap make you feel bad like the keto flu? Sherry, there's always a possibility if you eat some really bad stuff and then you drink ketones, your body is transitioning all those things out. So, but it's not made to make you feel bad at all. Um, as a matter of fact, it's made to make you feel good. So if you get symptoms of the keto flu, for example, maybe you get the chills, you get a little, I don't know, I'm trying to think of all the possible. There's a lots of possibilities. Add an electrolyte or pink Himalayan salt to your food, to your drinks, and that will take care of it. Drink a lot of water. Uh, the keto flu is a real thing, but you don't want that to keep you from changing your health. Like it doesn't last long at all. And if it happens to you, you gotta let me know so I can walk you through what to do. Um, thank you, Janet. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, uh, yes. I, several of you guys have tried this. I'm so glad you love it. First time watching, and I'm from Franklin, Louisiana. Well, hey, Gina. I hope you don't get tired of me talking. There's a lot of people watching right now, and they're like, girl, you talk too much. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I know I talk too much. I love to talk to people. And this page is all about helping people. So I hope you guys don't mind listening to me talk. Uh, but I want to make sure I'm answering any questions. Kendra just got through eating it also. Wow. Sherry, should I start with the reboot or the Nat Ketones if I've never tried them? Sherry, you can do it either way. I mean, I started with the reboot. That's how I got started. I started with the reboot. It was amazing. And I could not believe me, Amy Dove, a food addict for my whole life, could go that long with a kit and be successful. Like, I felt the most power I think I've ever felt. It was amazing, Sherry. So that is what hooked me and got me. And girl, I have not been sorry one day since. Like I absolutely love these products because they're amazing. Rice cauliflower would be good in there. Oh yeah, Laura, you could do that. My husband's not a cauliflower fan though. I used a 50 ounce can of green beans. There you go, Janice. That's what I'm talking about. Um, too much meat for me. I'm telling you, that's why Ricky loves it. That's why Ricky loves it, Vicky. <laughs> Let's see, we call it new bean, new, new bean casserole. I like it, I like it. Uh, I took her green bean casserole with the bacon on Easter. Yes, I know everyone loved it, Kendra. I'm so glad they did. Thank you guys for asking about my dad. Three years watching you and I'm still hanging in with low carb. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, new. I'm so glad. Uh, oh no, Michelle, I'm not sure what happened. 
Uh, I have been. I've been here. Now, I did travel. I went to Orlando to an event, and I did not do any cooking while I was there, so I was gone for like four days. Uh, and of course, you know, I don't cook on the weekends very often because that's mine Ricky's time. But yeah, I'm so sorry you've been missing me. I've been here. Uh, yes, God is good. Um, I think I need the reboot uh, at a standstill. Oh, yes, Peggy. We will definitely help you bust through that 16 pounds. When are you doing the reboot? It's scheduled, Bridget, for April the 21st. So I think I'm going to do it that day. Uh, I haven't looked at the calendar. I know I'm travel. Actually, I travel back into town on Saturday. That's the week the, the week prior is when we're going to Salt Lake City for the cancer conference. So that will be a perfect time for me to start. So I'm definitely doing April 21st. All right, guys, it looks like I got through all the questions. I can't believe it. You guys have a great night. I'm super excited about this dish. The link is in this post. As soon as I hit finish on this video, you will see the link to this hamburger helper. I hope you enjoy. If I can help you with anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Seriously here to help each and every one of you. And I hope you have a great night. Talk to you later. Bye.